Pastor Jerry Ezzy, what God cannot do does not exist. Mm -hmm. My name is Reverend Sharnell Jones, and this is my beautiful daughter, Hannah Jones, who are coming to you from Houston, Texas, so immensely blessed. Yes. My daughter is an aspiring opera singer. She's in graduate school at the Manhattan School of Music in, in, New, York uh, City. in New York City. One particular Sunday, I was getting dressed for church, and we're here in Houston, so we're some hours behind Abuja. So I decided, you know what, while I'm getting dressed for church, I just you know, thought, let me turn on the worship service. You were praying for the people and then you began to prophesy. I don't know who I am talking to, but the Lord says, I'm making the world to hear the voice of your child. I don't know the son. I don't know the daughter in your house. The Lord say, I will cause the world to hear the voice of that person. God damn it, it doesn't look like it. There are no antecedents. There is nothing pointing to it. Shabala. But you will remember this prophecy. And it, and it caught my attention. I was already into the prayers already. I was already in there. But then that made me stop. I believe that God was talking to me. Then right before you uh, mounted the pulpit to read the scripture, you reiterated it again. Would you let me pray this prayer again? Just so that in case you missed it, you can get it. I don't know who the Lord has chosen in your family, Karaba, to a global grace and recognition. I don't know which of your children the Lord has chosen and gave me that word for. It will not be more than three months. I don't care how old they are, but you are going to see things that you did not orchestrate yourself. Everything was ripping around my body. I mean, my whole body, I'm thinking, oh my God, I felt, okay, I'm not trying to say it ain't for nobody else, okay? But I believe that the spirit of the Lord was like, listen to this, and lo and behold. So I think that happened in mm -hmm. December. Was it, okay, yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. the next month in January yeah. of 2023, so I'm in a program for young aspiring mm -hmm. opera singers, and the director of the program texted me, and basically told me that there's an opportunity to be featured on a big news station news program here in America so they flew me out and we did the recording so that happened in January and then in February the segment actually got featured on ABC it opens up a new door for us. That experience was just absolutely jarring because I never would have thought that something like this would happen. Oh, we always say, you say, how are you going to shout? Oh my God. I fell to my knees. I, I hollered. I thank the Lord. It's just been thing wow. after thing, like door after door. door. This summer, I'm going to be in a program for young artists, like one of the best programs in the, in the country, really the world. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be one of the youngest people, 22 years old in the program. So that's another testimony. Mm -hmm. Getting more specific to what we heard on streams of joy. I could sense that that was for my children. The ball was getting to roll that they were beginning to see things unlocked. Some of the doors they were just gonna walk through. I'm just so thankful for the way that you move in the Holy Spirit. I'm, I'm yes. so excited. We are yes. so grateful to God for the way that the Lord moves through this whole ministry. Yes. And yes. we pray that God will bless your life. Yes. You know, that what what we are seeing with our children that God will show you immediately it won't be until yeah. they're 22 you will see it when your children are young you yeah. and your wife your family your church family we pray that God will continue to guard you and wash you and fill you with his spirit the fire that never burns out that never runs cold yeah. that never expires that never dwindles yes. in SPVD we are shouting yes